Okay, we are ready. That was not such a hassle to uh, switch over the set when we've got uh, so many different players and different, a little bit different setup, but here are, they are. They look good, all dressed up, don't they? Yeah. I like that. I like that. But I am a dinosaur from a different era where dressing up meant that you cared about where you were going and you cared about what you were doing, and you cared about what people thought about you. You had some respect for yourself, and you have some respect for the music, and that's why I like it when they dress up and they look good. It's respectful, isn't it? Yeah. And it shows that they're getting ready to do something serious and important and have a good time doing it. So, all right. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you, parents. Let's give them a big hand and listen to their great set. St. Mary's Jazz Ensemble!
clarinet, lukewarms, and sax in the background. So yeah, we have the St. Mary's Jazz Ensemble, and we're kind of a, a nutty bunch. Um, every year we have a different uh, conglomeration of instrumentalists. Uh, one year we had no trumpets, a flute, uh, and an oboist, three violas. Wow. Uh, yeah, I mean every year, every year it's, it's something different. Um, so we do all sorts of music, but we definitely do a lot of uh, jazz-oriented music throughout the year, and, and uh, this is the band that will do a great job, and I have to say that for a high school group, they actually do a uh, pretty busy performance schedule. Guys, isn't this like the sixth or seventh gig of the semester? Lost count after a while. Yeah, so they've got quite a bit of music that they're studying. Um, with the unique instrumentation that I'm often given, I always try to find interesting charts for them, or I try to write and arrange them for the band. Um, this next one is a fun one. Um, there's a great group um, called the Ghost Train Orchestra, and um, they've got their second record out um, based on the East Coast. And there's a tune they do on it called uh, Charlie's Prelude, which I'm familiar uh, because it's also on record. It came out in the early 90s, um, uh, boat music. And it was the music of uh, John Kirby, who would take a lot of classical music and actually in his sextet would kind of uh, jazzify it. It was called a chamber of jazz, which I always found kind of a bizarre name for any genre of music. Um, but this one is actually based on a Chopin uh, prelude. It's uh, his. It's Opus uh, Four. It's Prelude Number Twenty in E Minor. Uh, so this is uh, arranged for the jazz ensemble. This is Charlie's Prelude.
Thank you, Father and Son, and trumpet solo there. So one of the cool things that our jazz band did last year was we partnered with um, one of our sister schools, Mercy High School, a fantastic music program as well. Um, and when you're a kid going to an all-male Catholic school, any opportunity to go to an all-girl Catholic school during the day tends to be a good thing. Um, the fact that it's for musical purposes is really just a cover. Um, but anyway, I digress. Um, so we got to meet um, Rebecca Ferguson, who is here this evening. Uh, Rebecca, why don't you hold your hand up? She is their uh, vocal music director, and, and feel free to give a round of applause because she's doing a great job. Yeah. So she is in charge of the Mercy Years, which is Mercy High School's kind of uh, elite vocal jazz group. And last year, we started doing a lot of music together, where she had these fantastic students, um, but you know, it was a drag, they didn't really have uh, a band to kind of back them up, and I said, hey, you know, maybe we can help. So the same year as Jazz Ensemble last year did a number of things, so they were backing up the Mercy Years, and it went off very well. So this year we've continued uh, that tradition, and uh, we've even taken it a little bit further, where instead of just doing um, stuff with you know her 30-piece vocal jazz group, um, we're working with a couple of soloists. So at this time, I'd like to present uh, Megan Markowitz. Where is she at? There she is. She's going to come up and she's going to hear about the soloists. So the tune that she's going to sing for us is uh, a special arrangement called Lost Mind. Uh, it's a good tune and she does a great job with it, so I hope you enjoy.
thank you in advance. Know this before you say. Okay, so this next tune is, is interesting. The uh, students are always giving me input on music that they'd like to do, music that they'd like to try. They show me some new things, I show them some new things. It's a real meeting of the minds. Um, but this next tune, we were, I was really trying to find a good vocal that we could share with our friends at, at Mercy. Um, and we came across uh, a favorite of mine and a couple of the students also appreciate this. And it's really funny too because there are a couple of versions of this next tune out there. Um, there happens to be one out there by Michael Buble. And it, it tends to be a point of contention in the ensemble whether the original Nina Simone version is good or the Michael Buble version. So we're trying to do justice to the original Nina Simone. Version. So we're going to bring up uh, Marissa Mayno, where is she at? She's going to sing Feeling Good, and she's going to try to channel Nina Simone.
we go. All right. We're going to have Meg come back up here because now we're going to do kind of our final number, our final fun number. Uh, so, you know, as I mentioned, we do a lot of work. Uh, we're trying to do a lot of work with the Mercy Years, which is a very large uh, organization. And so, what tends to happen is Rebecca will say, okay, Josh, these are some tunes we're going to learn. Here's the music that they're working on. And I say, okay, uh, let's write some instrumental parts for that. So then I furiously try to pen as many of those as possible and give it to the band. We rehearse it, we make it work, we see what works, what doesn't. We check with the girls and it's a real collaborative effort. So um, this year, Rebecca had said, oh, why don't we do this song? This will be great. And I said, well, wouldn't you know it? That happens to be the theme for our annual fundraising event this year, the auction. So, um, in honor of uh, the tune you heard in the first set, um, uh, uh, oh shoot, the uh, Don Redman, sorry, I can't remember the name. I love it. Thank you, I love it. Uh, in honor of, I, I love it, uh, pay no attention to that voice behind the curtain. Uh, in honor of that Don Redman tune, I love it. This is our version of putting on the Ritz, and you're going to hear all sorts of nutty little quotes in there. So we're going to do our, our best to uh, channel Don Redman and his orchestra. Two, 
change arrangement. Isn't that great? Thanks, group. And how about a hand? Hey, stand up. If you're a St. Mary's jazzer, stand up right now and take your applause. That was great. Great show, you guys. Wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you, everybody, for being a great audience and supporting these guys.